Hi everybody, welcome to Sweet Home Duo. I'm Jess. And I'm Denise. And today we're gonna to tell you all about the pros and cons of vending that we have learned so far in our business that we have. We've owned it for about a year mm -hmm. and hopefully this will be helpful to someone who's considering owning a vending business. Yes, we wish that there would have been something like this available when we started and so we just wanna share what we've learned with you. Um, some of the pros of owning your own vending business are that you get to make money while you sleep. Um, while you're going about your day, you're making money, you're making sales at your locations, and that's really nice. There's not a lot of um, jobs that you can do that with, so that's one of the things that we like about it. The extra money is nice. Um, another thing is, it's really fun to meet new people at our locations. Um, we've made some good relationships with those people, um, and so that's been really fun for us. I like to meet new people and so we've, we've enjoyed that a lot. And also, um, one of the things that we did when we first started was we did a lot of taste testing of snacks. My husband really got into that and um, we would get our families together and we would try all these new snacks and we would raid them and, and drinks and drinks. <laughs> yeah, and it was really a, a good time. I mean, we, had a, we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and another thing we do with whenever we find a new snack is we'll take it to our location and um, we'll let our employees uh, or the employees there try them and they really enjoy that too and that's fun. It's always fun to share some snacks and because if they like it, guess what? They're going to go to the machine and buy some. So mm -hmm. um, we enjoy that a lot and also you get to pick your own hours. We, um, we stay home with our kids and so it's something that we can do whenever we feel like doing it or I mean we try to do it every week but it's something that we can make our own hours if anything comes up if we're on vacation um, one family handles it while the other family does their own thing so it's been it's been good and also tracking sales we have um, we can see all of our sales online and so that's been a lot of fun to see what sales every week um, and what the what the people are buying so we've enjoyed that a lot and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, I guess, what you could call cons or just basically things you need to consider on the other side of it. The first um, aspect would be just the startup money, the startup cost, and the time involved. Of course, with running any uh, business, you're going to have time that's involved in setting up a business, you know, the taxes, the licensing, and whatnot. But the startup cost is you know basically those plus your vending machines and that can vary quite a bit depending on what kind of vending machines that you have mm -hmm. we have the healthy you vending machines and we absolutely love them mm -hmm. um, but there's a huge variety of vending machines out there you can buy used or new of course um, so that takes some research time as well mm -hmm. also just the basic product cost that you're going to have when you start your business you know to um, supply all your machines with the drinks and the snacks that you'll need I would say um, so far the most difficult part of the vending business has been placing the units. We had one that was placed in a really good location, but the other two locations that we now have um, are great, but it took about six months of you know constant work to, to get those placed. So that would be the most difficult part of it which was something we did not even consider, you know, when we first started. Be ready to be persistent in you that too. Yeah, you have to be very <laughs> persistent. Um, and the other thing to consider, which might be a con to some people, is just basically the, um, the machines themselves. If they're not placed in a route already, you'll have to move them. So it's gonna be a big cost, or you're gonna have to know some big people to help you move them and some special equipment. So I would say those are the main parts or main cons that we have learned along the way. And we hope that the pros and cons that we've shared today will help you. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.